and gentlemen. It's indeed a great honor to be here today. Uh, before uh, I just uh, tell something about uh, myself, I would like to just mention that uh, B. Nagaraju is a very good friend of my father and uh, when my father was not well and I was in the US, uh, my father, <laughs> he every day they would send food to my father uh, at the hospital at New Hands and uh, they really took very good care of him so I will always be indebted to him and uh, about the author uh, Ratnakar, I am not a very uh, social media person like I just go on Twitter just to see what people are talking and all. And one of the main persons I follow is Ratnakar. I have been following him for a very long time and I have also got to know from other people in hospital. Just before I was coming, some uh, bank manager called me. He said, Sir, I heard you are going to uh, Hyderabad. Can you please do me a favor? I am a very big fan of Ratnakar, sir. I would want to have an uh, autographed book of him. So I said, I will surely go get it. So he is doing a wonderful job trying to spread about our history, about our culture and all. Uh, about the Vijayanagara family, I am not going to tell much about it. There are a lot of scholars here. Today, uh, Jodhra Sri Chandrasekhar Rindigaru has also come here. Uh, it's an honor. Uh, so, I will just tell a bit about myself. Uh, I did my schooling from uh, Shrebhaz Ashram Pondicherry. And uh, after that, uh, I went on to do my engineering from Davangere. I did my mechanical engineering. So, in Davangere, I had very good friends from uh, Hyderabad. So, my parents have named me Krishna Devaraya, but once I came to Davangere, uh, my friends over here they changed it to KD. So, I am mainly known as KD now than Krishna Devaraya. <laughs> Uh, after my engineering, uh, I did my own uh, business a bit of uh, into office automation and all. In '98, I for for the first time I met my I saw my guru garu Shivananda Murthy garu. So after that, in 2001, he called my family to uh, Chigoli Gardens here. They have this uh, trust through which they honor all the people. So at that time they called my father and uh, they honored him. So that's when I got to know a bit about him. So that same year in November, I, I was in Delhi to attend uh, my friend's wedding. And I got to know that uh, Guru Garu is in uh, Delhi. So I went uh, to the puja. I think it was in AP Bhavan. So after the morning puja, I was just thinking what to do. Uh, the business that I was doing here, my partner, he had recently died in an accident and my sister was telling me why don't you come down to the US, uh, it will be good for you and uh, so I was totally confused state and I was just thinking what to do, what not to do. So after the prasadam, Guru Garu, he gave me, like the, after the puja, he gave me the prasadam and he said, Babu, no America delta ho. Then in Pilskapta, no Vapa So this stuck to me, like, I, I was thinking, I have not told him anything. How did he get to know? So, I, that was a changing uh, a moment in my life. Like, uh, I said, there is someone who is protecting you, who is thinking about you. So, why do you worry? So, from that time, from that time onwards, like for me, whatever Guru Garu told me, that was it. So, I would just buy, blindly do it. So, in 2008, after my father passed away, uh, Guru Garu asked me to come back. But these six years when I was there, uh, I saw America does not have a history of more than 300 years, but I myself, I can go back to 500 years. But whatever little they have, they have preserved it very well. They have documented it, they have, they have preserved it and uh, people go, they are proud of what they have. So that stuck to me. So I said, this is something really good which we Indians, we really don't value what we have. We have so many monuments which are thousands and thousands of years old, our culture, we are least bothered about it. So when I came back from US, the very first thing that I wanted to do is restore my house, uh, the house that we live in Anagundi, it's about a, a little over 200 years old, we've been living there, but I don't know when it was constructed. 
So I started that work uh, in 2011. I didn't know what I was getting into. I was thinking probably a year and a half, two years I'll be done with the construction. But uh, doing it the old fashioned way using lime water, wood and all, it took me almost five years to complete it. Which uh, I was really like, uh, uh, the way it turned out, I was very happy. So I, was, I thought that I'm doing it just for one, one time, I'll not be doing it again and again. So if I do it rightly, probably it will last a hundred years or little more. And the future generation, we are passing down something of our tradition, our culture to the future generation. That was my main intention. Uh, if we, what I feel is, if we don't take pride in our culture, our heritage, nobody else will take uh, pride in that. So, it is our duty to pass this on to our future generation. Let me just end by uh, what my Guru Garu has told me. Like he says that we first, we need to educate ourselves, then we need to awaken ourselves, awaken the Indians, and then enlighten the world. So when we educate ourselves, thus we are awakened. Then we can awaken our countrymen. If we stand inspired, we shall inspire others. It is by understanding the greatness of Indianness and practicing it that we can awaken the spirit of Bharatiyata in our countrymen. We must have pride in our heritage. We must feel fortunate to be the children of Bharat Mata. This pride should arise from a clear understanding of our culture and heritage, from the icy slopes of the Himalayas to the tapering tip of Kanyakumari, from the jungles inhabited by tribals to the big cities, from the mansions to the humble abode. It is one culture, one family that is expressing itself through many. This underlying unity that sustains the surface diversity is the beauty of India. Today, we stand spirit of this knowledge as we have allowed ourselves to be swept away by the utterly materialistic design of the West. We have all the facilities, but we have become weak. We have tons of money, but we do not have peace. We come from a very highly sophisticated lineage, but we have no knowledge about it. Without this knowledge, we cannot call ourselves educated. It was there. It existed. We only have to get it back. Today will be history tomorrow. We as citizens should feel our responsibility towards our nation. I thank you, uh, the organizers, for having invited me. It's really an honor. And I thank all of you for having come to this function. Thank you.